Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple solution to a common problem. It's literally unticking a box. But which box is it? Stay tuned and I'll show you. It's such a simple one, there's no need for a demo file. Here I have a table of data and a pivot table. The pivot table is based on the data in the table. And the table has been generated from a query. Now I've updated the source file. It happens to be a CSV file on my desktop. And I now need to replace the date in the table with the new data and update the pivot table. So I go to the data tab on the ribbon and click refresh all. And what that's doing now is it's connecting to the file on my desktop and updating the data. That's now the same as the source file. But the banana value in the pivot table has not updated. So I have to click refresh all again. And now it's updated. So that's the problem. I have to click refresh all twice. To fix this annoyance, I need to open the properties of the query. So I go to data, queries and connections. That opens up the queries panel on the right hand side of the screen. Right click on sales data, which is the name of the query that's pulling the data into that table in columns A to G and go to the properties. And in the last refreshed section, I need to untick enable background refresh and click OK. The checkbox is checked by default and this tells Excel to refresh the Power Query query in the background but continue with other processing tasks without waiting for the query refresh to finish. So it's likely that the pivot table refresh either happens before the query refresh or at the same time, meaning that it gets refreshed using the old data. So I'm going to save this file and close it down and then I will update the source file and come back to this file. Okay, so I've updated the source file. I've changed the value in the first record to 40. So what it should do when I hit data refresh all is it should update the table and the pivot table. Let's give it a go. Go to data, hit refresh all, and it's updated both the table and the pivot table. Did you find this video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter? And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.